Hello and welcome again to the Ithaca Times and Finger Lakes Community Newspapers YouTube channel. I'm Carrie Blakinger and I'll be your host for today. And this is Ellie and she'll be a co-host because, you know, cute animals make everything better. And uh, my, my housemate's away, so her cat's going to star on YouTube. Your cat's famous, Simone! <laughs> Um, anyway, as far as news, this week in the Ithaca Times, we learned how to use Rosie, which is an online shopping app that allows you to order groceries for delivery or pickup. In this week's Around the Lake, which is our half-hour cable public access news show that we do every week, we went into more detail about it there. In City News, the Common Council passed a new package of legislation governing the Commons, uh, whenever it reopens, that is. Um, except the Common Council took out the part about making dogs legal over there. Um, my dog is behind the camera and, she, and she's, she's crying right now. She, she's distraught. Um, in county news, last week the county legislature finally approved its new comprehensive plan. Interestingly, the vote fell along party lines with the two Republicans voting against the plan and the eight Democrats voting for it. Um, it ended up being an 8-2 vote because there were four absences. There's 14 legislators total. And there was bad weather that day. Um, but it, it was interesting because it went along party lines. And that doesn't actually happen a whole lot in the county legislature. Um, but I guess planning still falls along party lines. Um, coming up, in a lot of the villages we cover, um, there, there's going to be village elections. And they will probably not be among the more interesting elections that I cover. Um, a lot of these villages, the small villages and the outlying towns, have uh, completely uncontested elections. Sometimes they're contested, but uh, not, not too hotly, usually. Uh, so the results are somewhat predictable. In fact, out of the three or four towns that I'm covering with village elections, only one of them actually is contested at all. But that's coming up on March 18th. All the villages are doing their elections on March 18th. Normally it would have been March 17th, but this year that was St. Patrick's Day. So everybody moved it back to March 18th. Um, but yeah, so that, that's going to be the upcoming news for our outlying towns for the Finger Lakes Community newspapers. Um, and as for this YouTube show, we have some news on that. This is going to be our last uh, YouTube show because... We have our weekly news roundtable, which really kind of supplants this and makes it kind of unnecessary. So, um, yeah, that's all. Like, bye. Well, not, not forever, but forever from this. I mean, I'm sure I'll still see you all uh, when, you, when you watch us on Around the Lake. So, that's all. Bye.